Well, thanks for checking in on your bedtime weather update. I'm meteorologist Mike Witcher. Sure, hope you've had a great week so far. It's been a nice, quiet, dry, warm week around East Tennessee. And, well, that's going to be the story as we get into our Thursday and Friday. But there are big changes on the way for the upcoming weekend. In a good way. I'll explain. Let's get to work with your forecast. Low temperatures on Thursday morning. We start off with 60s and 70s, so kind of a wash, rinse, repeat forecast. Not much changes there. Uh, but as we head through the day on Thursday, well, we do have a couple of spotty showers possible. We saw a couple late in the day on Wednesday, but that was really about the extent of it. Not a lot of rain expected. We've been trending very, very dry, and August typically is a relatively dry month. But we've got Tropical Storm Debbie that's going to continue to near our area, and you can see how it's going to throw some showers over into North Carolina. It'll probably increase the wind across the mountain counties, Upper East Tennessee, and bring maybe a few afternoon showers, but most are going to stay dry. We just don't get a whole lot of rain. We actually have a cold front that's going to help to push Debbie on out of here. Oh, Debbie. She's been causing a mess down across the southeastern U.S. So you can see uh, Upper East Tennessee, the mountain counties have the best chance for seeing a few spotty showers and a few rumbles of thunder. Other than that, forecast highs on Thursday will be in the 90s. Heat index values back in the 90s to low 100s, upper 90s to low 100s anyway. So, yes, it's still going to be another hot Thursday and another muggy day. So the heat stress is going to be up uh, a little ele elevated as well, especially along Interstate 40 and south will be in the moderate and high category. So coaches and parents keep that in mind or if you work outside for an extended amount of time. Rain chances, pretty lackluster in the rainfall department. Actually, our best chances for rain will be Thursday and Friday. Just a few pop-up showers uh, that's about the extent of it. Then we're going to be drying out as we get into the weekend because dry air moves its way on in. So here's the latest storm system. This is a uh, tropical storm Debbie. It will deteriorate now that it's moving inland. It loses the warm uh, Atlantic moisture anyways. But Debbie's going to be nearing East Tennessee. So the wind's likely to increase, especially across the mountains in upper East Tennessee. Uh, we'll see a couple of showers. Here comes our cold front. Cold front comes through during the day on Friday, which will probably bring a couple of showers moving in from the west and northwest. And that's it. That's all the cold front's going to do when it comes to precipitation. But the other side of the story is the refreshing air. By a show of hands, anybody want to see a nice, have a nice little fall weekend? Fall-like weekend, I should say? Yeah, I'm with you on that one. Dew points will be in the sixth, upper 60s Friday night, but into Saturday morning, those dew points fall into the 50s. And that's that refreshing air. So let's pick up our timeline. Friday, 7 o'clock at night. There's our cold front. Drier air starts to settle its way on in. And that dry air is going to really overtake the area. As we get into our Saturday, reinforce itself a little bit more on Sunday. And that's what's going to make it feel a little bit more like fall. Not just because the dry air, as dew points fall into the 50s and 60s for the weekend and the start of next week, but because high temperatures will also fall into the mid to upper 80s. So we're going to be at or even below average for highs, lower humidity, and that's what's going to make it feel refreshing. So no heat indices expected as we get into the upcoming weekend. We are going to continue to see those heat indices Thursday, Friday. And then those are a thing of the past as we get into our Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday time frame. So that's the cool part. The other side of the story also by the middle part of the week is we're going to start to see another ridge of high pressure build on in. And that's going to bring us even warmer weather. So if you don't have the East Tennessee Weather app, you should download it. It's 100% free from your app store. Just search East TN Weather, all one word. Look for the orange TN and the white lightning bolt. It's one of the first ones that you'll see uh, as we, if, if you search that. Other than that, you get your daily forecast weather updates. You can watch Wake Up with Witcher there as well. And we will continue to keep you posted on all weather all the time right here in East Tennessee. Speaking of Wake Up with Witcher, join us. It starts at 7 o'clock bright and early Thursday morning. I hope to see you then. Have a great night.